Hi, this is problem 5 from the 2016 AIM-2. A good example of using degenerator functions for reduced Pythagorean triples. So let's see what we have. Triangle ABC0 has right angle at C0. Its side lengths are pairwise relatively prime positive integers, which means that this is a reduced Pythagorean triple. And its perimeter is P. Let C1 be the foot of the altitude to side AB. And for n greater than 2, let Cn be the foot of the altitude to Cn minus 2b in this triangle. And let the sum of all these line segments equal 6 times the perimeter. Find the perimeter p. So there are a few things to unpack in this problem. And the first is to just try to figure out what these line segments are. C1 is pretty easy to see. It's the foot of the altitude to side AB. Let's draw that in. Now C2 is a little bit harder. This expression is a bit complicated, so let's substitute n equal 2 into this expression. So then c2 is the foot of the altitude to c0b in triangle c0c1b. So that defines c2 to be the foot of that altitude. And if we follow this one or two steps further, we see c3 is this point, c4 is this point, and this basically defines an infinite series of shrinking line segments, uh, each of which shrinks by the same ratio as given by these similar triangles. So uh, let's uh, write out the side lengths of this triangle, side length B, side length A, and side length C. And we find that this first line segment is given by AB over C. And this uh, ratio between all these line segments is given by the similar triangle ratio A over C. So now we see a way to write out this infinite geometric series as the sum being the first segment, AB over C, divided one by 1 minus the ratio, A over C, multiplying top and bottom by C, And we're told that this is equal to 6 times the perimeter. We could write that out. Now at this point, we have to incorporate the condition that sides A, B, and C form a reduced Pythagorean triple. So it makes sense here to use the generator functions for the reduced Pythagorean triples. And if we go to the formula sheet for the Avocet series, I'll put a link to this in the description. We go to page 2, we see a brief description of the generator functions for the reduced Pythagorean triples. And I also note that you don't need to know this for the AMC 10 or 12, but it sometimes comes up in the AIM. So let's go ahead and use this relationship. And uh, this relationship states that for two integers that are opposite parity and relatively prime, I'll call these integers T and S, we can uh, generate the Pythagorean triple as side A equaling to 2 times Ts, B is equal to T squared minus S squared, C is equal to T squared plus S squared. Adding these up, we find that the perimeter is 2Ts plus 2T squared. Let's factor this right away. Great, so let's see if we can use these expressions in our original equation here. Let's uh, multiply both sides of the equation by C minus A. And let's plug in these values for A, B, C in the perimeter. So that's uh, 2 Ts times T squared minus S squared. C minus A is T squared minus 2 Ts plus S squared. 6 times 2 times t times t plus s. And it looks like we can uh, factor here, so let's go ahead and do that. 2ts times t minus s, t plus s. We can factor this as well. t minus s squared times 6 times 2 times t, t plus s. A lot of cancellations are available. T minus S. Factor out the 2's. 
cancel out the t's. And what we're left with when we uh, all the dust clears is that s is equal to 6 times t minus s. And reducing this, we find that uh, 7s is equal to 6t. And let's see, let's try to find the smallest integer solution to this. It's just that uh, s is equal to 6 and t is equal to 7. And uh, these are relatively prime, and they're of opposite parity. One is even, one is odd. So they satisfy the requirements to generate a reduced Pythagorean triple. So let's take these values of t and s and plug them into these equations. So 6 times 7 times 2 is equal to 84. t squared, 49 minus 36 is 13. 49 plus 36, 85. And uh, we can either evaluate this expression or just add these up. Let me just add these up. 84 plus 13 plus 85, that's equal to 182. And that's our final answer. Now, we could actually do this problem without using the generator function, but uh, you'll find that that requires a lot more algebra or some inspired guessing, both of which I don't think are the more plausible solution for this problem. So hope that was helpful, and uh, we'll see you at the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.